Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to the new LP of Dragon Age Origins. Yes, we are finally back into the RPG territories. Now again, I would like to apologize for the one week wait. Um, shit just kept happening, let's put it that way. Anyways, so, I do like this opening animation, it's just too bad that is part of it now. Well, Bioware is now owned by EA, which sucks. This has been a while, this, but still, I wish it was still just Bioware. Edge of reality. Now, this game, ladies and gentlemen, I am fair warning, is rated M for mature, meaning it has blood, go blood, gore, swearing, uh, use of alcohol, use of tobacco. Uh, actually, hang on, I don't even know what's actually all of it. <laughs> yeah. God damn, too many games. I'm not gonna look through it. Anyways, I wanted, I like this game. I really do. Uh, the second one was okay, and I can't wait for Inquisition. Uh, I was thinking about doing Liana's song. Uh, we might do that towards the end of the LP, at the end completely. Uh, Liana is a part, a group member will be getting much later down the road. Um, yeah, wait, well, about three, almost three hours into the game. So, yeah. Uh, do not worry, ladies and gentlemen, these loading screens will be gone afterwards. It's just that, uh, yeah. And so, in the... So is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon the, all the world. Hmm. I'm guessing this is God talking. Well, too bad I didn't have the time Chantry to do it teaches us that it is the And yes, there's actually pretty damn good voiceovers and voice acting world. in this game. It actually has somewhat of an impact, unlike the second ever. game's main character if you're playing male. Instead, Sorry to do voice actor, you just, it. it didn't feel right. Wow. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. Yeah. So this is the backstory of what we're, monsters, the main enemy of this game the are. The first of the Darkspawn. The Darkspawn. So these humans... He dappled in magic, broke heaven's seal, and became cursed to be Im they became a blight unholy of beings of death. Unstoppable and relentless. Yeah. <clears throat> the dwarven <clears throat> kingdoms were the first to fall. And Whoa. from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Uh, yeah, the first time I saw this cutscene, I actually thought this guy was being dragged by a dark spawn to get killed or eaten. But no, it was just a team of it, a friend of his. Um, I do have a few of this extra download content, like the Dragon Blood Armor, the Golem, uh, Arm, the Golem Quest. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, <laughs> warriors and mages. Barbarians and kings, the Grey Warden sacrificed <laughs> everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. Uh, the Grey Wardens are well. We're gonna be, we're gonna show off what a Grey Warden is. But what it is is one of the few things that can actually fight a dark spawn with little to no effort. But we're gonna learn why much later. I'm not gonna spoil much. This is actually this game's really brutal, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, very bloody. I don't, you know, it doesn't deteriorate that bad. I don't mind it. It's not that distracting, it but it does have its moments of like, okay, that that's a little over, we isn't kept it? Our vigil. We have watched and waited for the dark spawn to return. Ugh. Those who once called Those us heroes guys. have forgotten. What? How? How have they we forgotten you? Now. And our warnings have been ignored for too long. Oh, shit. Oh, Dark Spawn. Hello. Now, this is Duncan. Probably the most badass of all the Grey Wardens. Until you come along, but whatever. Oh, uh, <laughs> For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Oh, shit. Maker. Yeah, as you can see, he was pretty clean. And then out of nowhere, just one stab to a guy's stomach. He's pretty bloodied. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, if this is a Bioware game, there is a character creation screen. 
Now, there are obviously a few things here. You have your gender, male or female, race, human, elf, and dwarf. Now, depending on which race you go, you have certain classes available to you. Uh, if you go dwarf, human, and elf, all three classes are available to you. But if you go dwarf, the ma ma uh, the mage class is locked to you. You can go either warrior or rogue. To, the, to me, this game, I decided to go a little sadistic, crazy, and um, decided to dabble in the arts. In the special arts. Come on. There we go. Mage. Now, your background also determines if you pick mage, you're automatically sent to the Tower of Magi. If you pick human or elf, warrior or rogue, you have different options as well. Same thing with the dwarf. You can have royalty, you can have... Um, uh, Berserker, you can have Force, Elf, I think certain of them are locked to you. At point. So, I was thinking, trying to think of a good um, Elven name because I want this character to be unique. My very first character was an Elf Rogue, so I was good with the bow. And, yeah, I'm like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> now, uh, if anyone's ever played any kind of game, you might recognize where this name is from. But if not, the name is Janal. I don't know. I was just... I looked up a book, ladies and gentlemen. So, character creation. Uh, fuck this. <laughs> I skipped all of it. So, this is how my elf is going to look. My character is going to end up looking. Eh, he's not that good looking, but... Whatever. My rogue elf is actually much better because he looks more like an elf from Lord of Rings or, you know... I cannot cast it! This weapon does uh, nothing! Excuse me. Mm, yeah, why not? Mystical. That's our voice type. Uh, next. Now, of course, abilities. You have strength, which increases your melee effect. Dexterity increases your bows and trap skills. Uh, your willpower increases your mana pool or your um, charisma, which is used for s certain skills and tasks. Your willpower, the more you have, the more damage you'll do with magic. Uh, you're, no, that was... Cunning is... I forgot, and... I forgot the last one. I went a little too fast. <laughs> so, yeah. Mmm, two abilities. Now, as much as I want to break the game, I'm going to try not breaking it. <laughs> the game can actually be easily broken, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I decided to go with Heal and <laughs> Winter's Grasp. Why not? We're going to play on normal difficulty and let the game begin. This is the last loading screen we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just doing this to increase the time width a bit. And this loading screen isn't that long. So. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> stands the tower <laughs> fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower Wouldn't it be Magi, technically? Ferelden. But, you know, I'm not going to argue about uh, within the high stone walls, a, the is a word that its is pronounced to me, so whatever. In the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower yeah, right. is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch yeah. over all mages. So the Templars in this game, unlike the historical torch. facts, this the Templars in this game are actually... And ha are actually warriors given the ability to use to resist the magic. There are one of the few people who can actually fight mages and kill them with little to no ease. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly uh, little over. to no problems. Sorry, not All little to no ease. Is little to no final problems. The harrowing. So yeah, this is our character. Magic we have to do our final to test in order to prove the fact. Never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the yeah. world to the edge of ruin. Your magic yeah, yeah. is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm... Wow, this guy really has to stick up his ass about magic and, and mages. Jesus Christ. As a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual oh sends God. you into the fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. What? Um, is there no other option? It will turn you into an abomination, <laughs> and 
and the yeah, temples well, will be I ask the obvious slave. question. What happens if the demon wins? This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. Not true, you just lied to me right so straight to my face, but we'll learn later why. You. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits <laughs> may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice ah. must go through this test alone, first enchanter. Yeah, but he oh. can't give me words of encouragement, you dickwad. Well, um, we're only like five, two minutes into learning who this character is, and we're already... Hating on, I'm already hating on this guy. Well, this part's already coming to an end, so join next time as we enter the fade. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.